Good evening, church family. Pastor Laura here. It is Thursday, December the 10th, and it is the second week of Advent. In just a moment, we are going to read 1 John chapter 4, verse 16 together. And so if you have your Bible, let me ask you to go ahead and grab that now. Um, and then if you have a candle or your Advent wreath in your home, let me ask you to go ahead and get near that. Because right after we read the scripture, we're going to light them together as one. Hi, everybody. My name is Abby Murphy. And today I'll be singing Mary, Did You Know? Um, it's one of my all-time favorite Christmas songs. And I feel like this song relates to love in a way that we don't necessarily think. I feel like when we hear this song, it's just a list of all these questions and we kind of associate it with like the shock factor or the in all kind of feeling of like, wow, this is, you know, jaw dropping. And yes, it totally is. I mean, Jesus is all of these things. Like Mary, did you know that your son is going to be like this? But we also need to take into account that love kind of holds this whole Bible story together. You know, Joseph had to love Mary through the trials of being pregnant and being a virgin. And and Jesus obviously had to love everybody. Even when he was just a little baby, he just had so much love for everyone in this world. God loved his children. God loved his son. Um, there's just so many ways that without love being patient and kind and, and all of the list of things this story would have fallen apart. And so I feel like this song really truly describes that. The 
scripture that we're reading again is 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. I'm going to read that twice for us. And each time I'd like you to listen for the word or the phrase that stands out to you. The word or the phrase that, that God really wants you to hear today. The scripture says to us, And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. Listen one more time. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We light our candles together tonight, remembering and trusting that God is love. That very first Christmas, Mary held love in her arms. God is love. It's not just what he does, it's who he is. Always and everywhere, he is love in action. In the person of Jesus, he was love in action before our eyes. And now through the presence of the Holy Spirit, he is selfless love in action within us and through us in the world. In every moment, he is actively loving us and loving us into loving others the way that he does. And so let me ask you a question today. Where have you seen God? Where have you seen selfless love in action? If you are at your home with family or friends, let me ask you when we finish up to take just a few seconds to talk about this. If you're at home on your own, take a moment to reflect and maybe journal or perhaps post on social media and share with others. But I'll go first. Today, I saw selfless love in action. I saw God in the life of one of our church members. She came through the doors of our church. She heard of a need that we had in our Christmas store and she very generously and selflessly gave what she could to love others. What about you? Where have you seen God? Where have you seen selfless love in action? As a reminder and as, as a sending for us to, to live into this love that God has so generously given to us, I'd like to pray for us a prayer tonight from St. Teresa of Avila. Christ has no body now on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours, Yours are the eyes through which he is to look out Christ's compassion to the world. You are the feet with which he is to go about doing good. Yours are the hands with which he is to bless now. Amen. Go in his love.